and behind curtain number one is... Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles here with a short video showcasing a recent purchase I made in anticipation for a statue from my all-time favorite anime, Full Metal Alchemist. Oniri Creations, a licensed French company, announced that they would be coming out with Full Metal Alchemist statues, and their first to debut was Ed Elric. I've been waiting so long for somebody to come out with a quality Full Metal Alchemist statue, and when this came up for pre-order, uh, it was an instant PO for me. This statue is so dynamic and full of passion. When I saw what scene they took it from, from Brotherhood, this was a no-brainer for me that I had to have this statue. For this piece, I wanted to create a unique display that would serve to showcase this statue properly. Let me go ahead and turn some lights off and you can see for yourself. And here it is, sitting at measurements of 25 inches wide, 23 inches deep, and 22 inches high. For those that use centimeters, it's 63.5 uh, in width, 58.5 in depth, and 55.5 height. You can see, laser engraved on the back, a transmutation circle with the main logo for Fulmetal Alchemist, uh, Flamille. When I received this, everything was decently done. Minor flaws on all sides, except for the back piece, which had some major flaws. When I contacted the seller, he informed me that it may have been because of the way that he had to laser engrave. It was such a larger piece than he's used to dealing with that caused uh, some minor scuffs and scrapes. He offered immediately to replace and send me a new one and hopefully do better this next time so that everything's gonna be nice and clear like you'll see on all sides. Everything connects together like puzzle pieces with little tiny grooves on the sides and corners that connect to each other and then kind of stabilize and help each other stay into place. It gives for a very slick and clean look. As you can see uh, from the angles of the right, left, and you'll see later from the, the top, the other sides except for the back are, are perfect looking. You can see right through them. There's not any scuffs or scratches. Um, it also doesn't help that the back sheet of acrylic is illuminated by a LED strip at the bottom. So it's gonna show off any kind of scratch, flaw, scuff, just because of the light that's flowing through it. I'm very much looking forward to getting the replacement piece so that I can see how it looks when it would have a clean background. I'm sure it's gonna be outstanding. I hope you can imagine what that would look like. I probably won't be re-recording anything. I'll be just showcasing it when I obtain the statue and can actually do an unboxing and showcasing with that inside. I love that at certain angles when looking at it, you can see the transmutation circle and symbol um, all throughout it, uh, bottom, left, right, top. Now it doesn't help also that there's nothing inside of this right now, so it's going to be reflecting all over the place. I did forget to mention that the bottom is made of acrylic as well, but it's like a black acrylic, so it acts great as a base. Now, because Ed isn't released yet, I went ahead and stuck a statue inside just so you could see how something might look. Ed is due to be larger than this statue, and once he fits in there, there should be a few inches on the top right left that make him fit, uh, but it doesn't look too packed or tight inside of there. Seeing the statue in there gets me more and more stoked for Ed to be released. I've been enjoying watching Oniri release some of their other statues and see how the quality is. And uh, nothing but great things are to come in the future for Edward Elric. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe so you don't miss when I'm able to showcase and unbox Ed upon his release. And as always, do what you love and love what you do.